Okay guys, so you're gonna immediately notice that this isn't live, this is post commentary, and there's a reason for that. I don't know why, and I don't know how it happened, but Audacity managed to fuck up on me and crash mid-recording, and in my excitement I didn't realise. I looked back to my laptop to see the, you know, big error messages and everything, and I'd lost the entire conversation I had leading me from this bonfire to a, a, a new area actually. Yeah, you'll notice on the last video I looked down into a ravine that had like a stream running through it and I, I didn't really want to go down there because it looked really intimidating. So I went and fought Artorius instead and uh, he shit fisted me. So what's going to be happening here is I'm going to be making my way back to that area through the Royal Woods and we're going to be going down into that ravine to, to find even more surprises. But don't worry, the, the commentary does pick back up at a certain point. I'm not too sure exactly when it is. I'm going to stop this now and find out. So basically there's another four minutes, four and a half minutes of me speaking like this. And we'll go back to what I was saying at the time. And I'll probably re-explain myself because I'm sure I did that. But a couple of things to bear in mind. I really wanted to fucking play this game last night. And I, when I say play this game, I really wanted to play the DLC last night. But... Because I've committed to this live blind playthrough, uh, I couldn't do it because my parents were in bed and I couldn't do the commentary. And um, I ended up accidentally cutting off the tail of one of the bosses. I didn't kill it. Uh, I didn't even know you could cut its tail off. I just kind of did. So what happens is uh, I was fighting this boss. I wasn't trying to kill it. I was just trying to learn it. I was trying to see what it was doing, if I could stay alive because the... the the first time I fight it is in this video and so it doesn't go very well. So I just wanted to brush up on that because the other boss is much more intimidating and uh, I wanted to leave some of those brushing up moments in the in the playthrough because the other one is the optional boss so don't worry if, you, if you're worried about missing anything. And we were fighting, I noticed that he does a specific move where he puts his tail down and I hit it twice and it broke and it gave me a really good sword, a really good great sword actually, which I've upgraded and I'm going to be using in the next video. So things are going to be changing in the next installment, which is cool, because I've got the Artorius armor, I've got this new sword, I've not leveled my character up too much, but I have gone back last night when I couldn't play the DLC, got more comfortable with areas of the DLC, got more comfortable with my character, got a few things, like I... I ended up, I've effectively done everything in the game now. Uh, when I got to this DLC, I had not done any of the Greater Souls except for the Four Kings because I wanted to be a Dark Wraith. Uh, some help that was because I tried invading last night, folks, and the game is, uh, is dead at the moment when it comes to the invasion front. People are either not in human form, not at my level, or not in my areas that I tried it, and uh, I tried it everywhere. <laughs> so... You know, it is, it's just come out, there's a lot of new players that are not getting as far as, as, as more experienced guys like myself. The, the arena's in shambles at this moment in time, it doesn't seem to load you into a fight, I'm not sure what's going on there, but definitely try and figure that one out. But the only thing I haven't done with this, this character now is beat Seath and, uh, you know, do the kill, and it's given me an opportunity to to figure out some things that they might have changed in this version, which I'm not 100% confirmed yet, but I'm going to be keeping an eye on the wikis to see when they discover things. Because I think they've changed the drop rates. And the reason I say this is, I on, on the Xbox version, I used to go down into Dark, into New Londo, sorry, killing Dark Wraiths, with a, you know, a handful of Homeless Bones. Homeless Bones? That sounds ridiculous. Uh, Homeward Bones, sorry. And I would get chunks reliably if I wore the Covetous Gold Serpent Ring and I had 10 humanity. Well, I did maybe five runs yesterday and I got about three chunks. So it's almost as if they've they've made the chunks uh, less of a drop from that specific enemy. I don't know if that's true, it's just what it felt like. So instead of farming those guys, I decided to, to try and farm the Royal Sentinels in, in, New, in Anor Londo. And they're pretty much the same. Uh, they take ages regardless, and it's not the most efficient route to do it. But 
just little things that I've been noticing that, that appear to be different to me, and I'm curious to see if there's any liner notes on what they've done, because I think they've um, I think they've changed some of the programming on some enemies. I think they've made the AI more aggressive. All speculation right now, but we will find out hopefully. But give or take, there's about 30 seconds until the commentary is going to kick in in a moment, so I'm not going to talk over myself, but. I hope once you do what's in this area, I hope there's more to it, a little bit more to explore, because it does look kind of cool. The only problem is, uh, when you pick up that chest that's behind that waterfall, get ready folks. Um, I did not expect what happened to happen, but then again, I did not expect to get what's in that chest. So I, I will speak to you in a moment. Well, that's bullshit. Fortunately, guys, I just audacity just crashed on me because I'm recording my audio on the the laptop at my side. Not the best setup for this, but like I say, I didn't really give the setup much thought. I just wanted to try it. Oh, I thought we might have had a secret. So you've just missed me rabbiting on from the the fungi lady all the way down here. And I like to think I were talking about things that are, you know, pretty salient. I was just on about how I'm really curious as to how much From Software has changed in this game. Because I really didn't expect them to. I thought it was just going to be... Fucking hell, this is a lot of slap. Oh, shit. Ah! Dragon! No! Oh, come on, man. What is that dog shit? <laughs> this is bullshit. It... You were miles away. Well, at least we didn't lose too much progress because we're back here. Jesus Christ. This place is hard. Um, no idea. Let's keep going. I don't... It's... It's really weird. I feel like I'm not equipped at all to handle anything. And it's all because of the roll. And I do apologise if <laughs> mentioning the roll as much as I am. And I am mentioning it a lot because it's important. It's really important. It's a big change. Anybody who plays this game seriously, it's massive. It's really big. Almost as big as the range on that fucking breath I just died by. But I got a slab out on it, so that's not too bad. Like, I wonder what Artorius is weak against, because I hit him with my halberd and it didn't do a lot of damage, and he hurt me a lot. And I know I'm not wearing the best armor, because I can't, thanks to this new fucking nerf ring. Shall I kill him? I want to kill him, but I can't. There's a part of my body that says he's improbably important. The question is, though, I thought this dragon was optional. But the range on that breath, I don't know. Oh, them dogs are going to be back. Two dogs over there. Couple over here. They blend in a little bit. It's a good job the, they're, they're up, like breathing and shit. Dead. I've joined the Dark Wraith, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing some invading after I've done the content. I don't know how well it's going to go, like I said, because this is not going to be a, a build that I'm all that comfortable with. But we'll find out. I love it when the dogs do that, where you can just time it so that they land the roll, they land their attack, it doesn't hit you. Oh, here we go. 